DLCs for Battlefield 4. We haven't heard a huge amount about the DLC so far, apart from China Rising which is a pre-order exclusive and Second Assault which will be featuring four fan favourite maps from Battlefield 3. And up until last night that's all the information we had, but now three more DLC names have been leaked for Battlefield 4 and they're quite interesting. The names of these three DLCs are as follows, Naval Strike, Dragon's Teeth, and final stand. Now as far as I'm aware this news did come out last night, I mean it was at work at the time so I was on Twitter talking to a couple of you guys and uh, it popped up on my feed so I had a look. There are some official pages on the Battlefield 4 website that are actually linked to these three names. However if you try and click on the links they give you access denied. And what that leads me to believe is these three pages actually exist on the server which Battlefield 4's website is hosted, which either means these three titles are working titles for the DLC, or they've actually been sort of set in stone and these are the final stages of the DLCs for Battlefield 4. Apart from that, we don't have a huge amount more detail, but we can go on some of the names here. I mean, Naval Strike, for example, that pretty much suggests to me that we're going to get a Naval Warfare themed DLC. I think it was only a matter of time before DICE and EA came out and said something that they were going to do a naval based DLC. They've made a huge deal of the naval warfare that's going to be included in BF4 and uh, really putting it in its one own expansion pack sort of made sense really to bring it back into the Battlefield series with a massive bang and really relaunch it as a warfare that they want to include in future games. As for Dragon's Teeth, I come at you empty handed with that one, I've got no idea what the relation could be for Battlefield 4. The only thing I really know is that in Battlefield 2 there was a map called Dragon Valley. Perhaps we could be seeing a remake of that in that expansion pack, that would be kind of cool. It was a map that was featured in Battlefield 2 and in Play for Free and it featured the US versus the Chinese forces fighting for the control over a valley in China. And the last one we have is Final Stand. Now that one pretty much sounds like a finality to me, much the same as we had Endgame for Battlefield 3. But as I say, we have no more information other than this right now. My theory is that this will all be detailed at Gamescom later today. It's EA's conference today on Battlefield 4 at Gamescom, but not just Battlefield 4, but other games as well. But the main focus is obviously going to be Battlefield 4, and I think you'll find they'll reveal a lot of information later today. One more tidbit of information, it looks as if the map and possibly the game mode that's going to be shown off at Gamescom 2013 has already been slightly leaked by the DICE developers. From the picture that's just come up on the screen on the right hand side in the PC that's closest to us you can clearly see what looks like a naval map with an island in the middle and two smaller islands on either side. So it looks as if DICE could be showcasing the naval warfare that's going to be included in Battlefield 4 and personally if that's the case I will be extremely excited to watch the live stream when I get back from work later today. But that is the end of this video guys so I hope you have enjoyed it and you're now up to date with all the Battlefield 4 information you're going to need before Gamescom 2013. So if you did enjoy the video please drop a like down below and comments are always appreciated. But until next time, my name is Westy and I'll catch you guys in the next video.